Yo, what's up everyone? Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Today I want to go ahead and bring you all a review on Stigma cartridge needles. As you can see, I have a value box right here that has 50 pieces in a different assortment size. The box is pretty, pretty nice. Very straightforward. I will go ahead and leave a link to these in the description below. This is the exact kit that I purchased, which was kit A, because there's different variations. Some of the 50 assortment comes with just liners, some come with just shaders and mags. Uh, you get my drift with that. So I got kit A, and I'm going to go ahead and show you all the contents. And we're going to go ahead and look at these needles up close, and then we're going to go ahead and try them out on some fake skin that I have here. So I just broke this seal about a minute ago. Before I dove into this, I want to go ahead and start the camera and do this on the camera with you all. And as you can see right off the bat, it's a very nice packaging, very standard packaging. And the cartridges look great, and I haven't pulled them out yet. Let's just go ahead and start right here. So we have 11 round shaders right here, as you can see. Here's an 11 round shader. We have nine round shaders right here, as you can see. Five round shaders. We have three round shaders as well. As you can see, we have seven round liners. And on this side, we have nine round liners. And over here, we have a three round liner. And we have on this side, five round liners. And these are actually all bug pin, if I am correct. Yes, so these are all bug pin as well. So we have round shaders and we have round liners within this assortment pack right here. And it's pretty much everything that I would need, you know, to do a good tattoo. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, for this tattoo, we're gonna use a three round liner. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, this little leaf right here for this tattoo. So you can see those lines are kind of bowed for that leaf. So I'm gonna use a round shader, maybe. Uh, let's go with a seven round shader. A nine round shader would do well. This one was a nine round shader. We could probably go with a nine or seven. I don't think it would make too much of a difference. Let's go with the nine though. So we're gonna use a nine round shader for the outline and then we're gonna use a three round liner for the shading within this leaf right here. Let's go ahead and actually open up these needles right here up close so that way you guys can see them up close and personal here. So this is a standard three round liner right here as you can see, the bug pin three round liner. And this is what it looks like up close. This is a fine needle. It looks great. As you can see, that is bug pin. Those groupings are super tight there. You can see the spark at the end of the needle right there. I mean, that little the shine at the end of the needle. I'm a personal fan of the black housing here. It looks really great. These, all, these, these do remind me of the Quill needle cartridges, but the color is different. The design is almost the same. This nozzle may be a little bit thicker or longer, I'm sorry, but Again, I could be wrong about that, but nonetheless, these cartridges look great. They look amazing. I'm excited to try them out. Let's go ahead and look at the round shader up close real quick though. Let's go ahead and take a look at those groupings. So this is going to be the nine round shader, if I remember correctly. Yes, the bug pin nine round shader. And that's the needle grouping for the bug pin nine round shader right there. Same housing, nice black housing there, as you can see. Clear push rod there, clear end. They look great, these needles look really, really good. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is, we're gonna use the CNC WE tattoo machine for the outline, and we'll probably use a CNC Q2 for the shading. We'll go ahead and get there when we get there. We're gonna start with the nine round shader, we're gonna begin this outline, and then we're gonna go ahead and you know, do the shading with the three round liner. So let's go ahead and begin that. So as you all can hear, the machine's pushing the Stigma cartridge just fine. This is the nine round shader, the bug pin nine round shader. It feels great, it feels consistent. Let's go ahead and pull some lines here and I'll go ahead and let you know how it feels upon pulling these lines. Let's go ahead and see how it goes. So upon pulling in the ink, the ink storage, as you can see, is great. Like it almost goes all the way up to the top as you can see. So that's massive ink storage. That's really cool. 
I like um, when the cartridges are able to store a lot of ink so that way you go back for fewer dips. Forgot to bleed it off a bit. So right off the bat, pulling these lines, they feel smooth, they feel consistent. I am liking the way that the lines are pulling. Granted, I am getting used to... So yeah, the needles feel really smooth. They feel really nice. I have, you know, nothing adverse to say about them that I notice here. It, granted, I am pushing at, so five volts, five, six, 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 five, seven. So we're about seven, 7.5 volts when we're pushing this line here. I think I need to adjust my voltage. There we go. So I had to adjust my voltage and hand speed accordingly. So that way, you know, I get tuned with these needles here. And upon doing so, it's saturating and it's pulling really nice, thick lines. So I'm getting used to using this specific needle. I'm getting used to the configuration. And upon doing so, I'm adjusting fairly quickly. When lining with shaders, you may wanna push with a little bit more voltage than you normally would like with a round liner. Let's see if we take it up one more. My goal is to get those one pass lines that I'm looking for, those nice saturated one pass lines. And I think this is around where my sweet spot is going to be. So as you can see, now I'm starting to go ahead and get really used to these needles pulling nice saturated one pass lines here. Nothing but good things to say about these needles. Overall, they are great. Granted, you know, you just gotta tune yourself and adjust yourself accordingly. The needle's very stable, very consistent. The battery died let me go ahead and switch out this battery and then we'll go ahead and come back okay so we switched out the battery we have the new one in i can't remember the last time i charged the other battery so forgive me there we're gonna go ahead and just proceed where we left off here
Once you get the hang of the needles, like, uh, and find your sweet spot with your hand speed and voltage. I think you'll be good. So right now we're about eight volts, maybe. Nice, steady, smooth, saturated lines. Now, I feel like if this was human skin, I wouldn't need to be this high in voltage and or I wouldn't need to, um, you know, go over some of them as I do. I believe if this was on humans, on human skin, I would definitely get one pass lines each and every time. I'm real picky with the way that the lines look. I like the lines to look like super saturated, clean. I don't like the configuration to show up within my line. But to each their own. On human skin, I definitely wouldn't be doing double passes. Unless I absolutely had to. Even then you wanna be cautious. that I do notice though is that this needle just feels super stable like I don't feel any needle wobble or anything like that at all and I'm really putting it to the test here All right, so we are pretty much done with this outline. Besides a few spots that I would personally like to touch up here. Mm -hmm. 
nonetheless that is it right there so what i'm gonna say is upon doing this i pulled line after line you are with me the entire way the needle definitely feels very stable i didn't experience not one or any type of needle wobble at all just took me you know 15 10 minutes to get used to somewhere in that time frame give or take but nonetheless the needle is very very comfortable to work with as you can see this came out pretty pretty straightforward it came out very saturated and nice it came out pretty nice actually so what i would like to do is maybe outline it with a 14 round shader to kind of get fancy but i also want to see how these three round liners perform as well so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to switch over to a three round liner here and we're going to drop our voltage all the way down to the lowest setting here and we're going to go ahead and try some shading out here and see how that goes So what I will say upon using this three round liner, this buck pin three round liner, is that it's definitely feeling smooth, it's definitely feeling consistent, just like the nine round shader that I just used as well. And instantly I am a personal fan of these needles. These needles are definitely of quality, these definitely are and can be a go-to needle for some or most. All right, so we are back and we are pretty much now done with this tattoo. And I'll say all in all, these needles feel great. They perform flawlessly. I experienced not one like needle fluctuation or anything abnormal at all with these needles. Let me go ahead and bring it up close for you all to see. We have real soft shading there. Pepper-like shading. The lines are very bold, the nice, saturated. Everything is clean. Again, nothing but good things to say. I definitely give these specific tattoo needles right here five stars. I give them a thumbs up. They performed, uh, they look great. They were stable, they were consistent, they were reliable, which are pretty much the fundamentals of what I look for upon using a good tattoo needle. So I do highly recommend that you do pick these up if you're looking for some new needles and you want to try some out. Maybe you're looking to switch needles to something more stable than what you're currently using or better maybe. Um, that's going to be subjective. However, I do highly recommend the Stigma Super Value Pack. Definitely five stars on my end. Now, with that being said, I appreciate you all tuning in this long. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell as I will be posting more videos like this. Once again, I will go ahead and leave the link to that specific assortment box that I purchased in the description below for you to check out. My name is Daniel Yuck. I do have social media have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all under the same name at Daniel Yuck. D-A-N-I-E-L-Y-U-C-K. I would genuinely appreciate the support on social media as well. Thank you yet again, guys, for tuning in. You all have a great day.